and the President, Dr. William Ruto, has finally assented to the Housing Bill 2023 into law. This comes a week after the National Assembly and the Senate passed the bill. And as Mike Kagongo now reports, the Ministry of Lands and Housing, National Housing Cooperation, county governments and private organizations have been tasked with overseeing the implementation of the affordable housing project. The heated controversy surrounding the housing bill comes to rest after President William Ruto signed the bill into law on Tuesday in State House, Nairobi. Several interested parties had opposed the bill in court due to lack of a legal framework, but the two houses of parliament passed it later after amending the controversial Section 84. The High Court last year declared unconstitutional the housing levy, a decision that was upheld by the appellant court on the grounds that its introduction was unprocedural. The enactment of the bill will seek Kenyans gain access to various categories of affordable housing. The categories comprise affordable social housing units, targeting persons whose monthly income is below 20,000 Kenyan shillings, affordable housing units targeting persons whose monthly income is between 20,000 Kenyan shillings and 149,000 Kenyan shillings, affordable middle-class housing units accessible to persons earning over 149,000 Kenyan shillings per month and a rural affordable housing units targeted at Kenyans living in areas not classified as urban areas. That means the people who are in the who earn 20,000 and above, they will have an, a 50% chance to own houses in our affordable housing uh, program. According to the bill, priority will be accorded to slum areas to ensure decent housing. The implementation of the project will be overseen by some state agencies, among them the Ministry of Lands and Housing, National Housing Corporation, county governments and private organizations mandated by the Housing Fund Board. The President's seal now means every Kenyan, whether salaried or unsalaried, will contribute 1.5% of their monthly earnings towards the project. The bill was also amended to facilitate Kenyans get only one unit in as much as they reach the criteria as prescribed by the Kenyan government starting at the end of this month. Mike Kagwongo, TV47 from State House in Nairobi.